All right, so I wanted to make a, a video to uh, just quickly go through one of the tools that we'll be using this semester. And in fact, before we get into it real quick, uh, this was created by a man named Philip Guo, who has a really interesting background. If you click on his links, you can see some of the, the papers that he's written and, and things that he's done and his, his bio. But uh, I studied at MIT, did his master's work at MIT, doctoral work at Stanford, uh, spent some time at Google and Microsoft, uh, back to MIT's uh, computer science and artificial intelligence lab, uh, and is currently a, a UC San Diego professor. So, um, so thank you, Philip. Anyway, uh, enough love fest, I guess, there. But uh, uh, this, by far, the, the tool that we're going to be using is through a website. It's pythontutor.com. And I'm just going to just load this in here real quick and, and just in Google search engine and show you um, if for what we're doing, uh, you notice here, you can go to pythontutor.com. And I'll, I'll go there first, and then we'll come back to this screen. Uh, but this uh, comes through here, you're going to get to see this visualizer that Philip developed. It uh, will let you code in your browsers, you can see, and visualize step by step. This is, uh, and the live help is nice too, uh, so you can see people from all over the place. In fact, we'll probably see that in a second. But uh, when you go through, there's a little one minute video if you want to watch a video from uh, Philip and a little example here. But it, the heart of this, and this won't make too much sense to you, uh, unless I guess you've taken Python, or but uh, if this is your first coding class with C, then um, you know, obviously this isn't your language here, but uh, this gives you an overview, and we're going to go through that here in a second too. But but uh, what this does is it lets you run the code step by step and see what the computer sees. So you can see where things are going, how things are working together. Uh, so it helps you find errors or just just understand what's going on behind the scenes and, and how the computer is seeing things. Uh, so this is by far the best tool that I have ever seen for uh, new programmers and, and understanding how, how the code works. So let's go ahead and really quickly, if you just type pythontutor.com in your website, or you see I, when I clicked on the link from Google there a second ago, you could come in and um, you'll see like you can just click on this, so C++. And it will go ahead and jump in and start us out. So this is one way of getting in there. If you click on this, visualize code, uh, we drop in here and you'll see that this was developed for Python, uh, but he's added other things along the way. So if you've taken one of my Python classes, you've obviously seen this. If you've taken Java uh, from me, then you've seen this. Uh, but we also have uh, you know C++ in here. You can see some of the other things that he's added. and uh, if you can click on it that way and, and get it to work there. If you go, if we go back to Google real quick, you can see um, you can also just click right on the C++ link from Google. So you can do that too. So anyway, anyway you want to try it, this is the way it works. All right, so making sure always when you're using this that we have selected C++. Obviously, you're, it's going to create all sorts of problems for you. And I'm just going to copy and paste code in here. And this is, um, this is just, this is terrible, but... Uh, Definitely not the most efficient way of doing this, but uh, let's see. Let's just, I don't know, this kind of bothers me. Uh, so let's, let's do this, drop that down there. Um, but anyway, not efficient at all, but it gives us a few extra little uh, things that we can put in here. And uh, these numbers may not be entirely accurate. We'll just say that. But, but anyway, so you see, uh, so here we have the code and we can use this just like, I mean, if we're reusing um, Visual Studio or, or whatever you might want to use. All right. So rolling through here once you have the code in place and you're like okay i think i'm ready to go i have all these little things here so you can go ahead and click uh, visualize execution this, again this is just a quick way of doing it and it will go through and here we go so this is why this is so great so uh, i'm going to go ahead and expand this just a real little bit it doesn't really matter for our output but just to show you if you had additional code that's one way to expand it uh and you notice that looking at this so we have two windows in here and let me just say briefly this little experimental and you can click and see some of the known bugs for what we're going to be using for C++ for now this is going to work perfectly so eventually we will have some issues uh, but what we're doing right now it's going to be great so when we get to inputs and, and it's not going to do everything we want to do for uh, for that and, and for a lot of the other things but for now for for learning how the code is working and all the stuff we're doing here at the beginning it works perfectly so uh, so this will really help us out so just wanted to, to mention uh, just really briefly how this particular code is going to work um, again this is terrible so uh, don't don't uh, don't judge I just threw some things in different lines so we could have some additional steps in here so anyway and even setting this up so you know two different statements but 
Okay, so uh, you can see it here. Here's our main function. So it's the find in here. And eventually what happens is you suck kind of on that main screen how there's all sorts of little things in here. So if you had lists or tuples or uh, anything that you're playing with, uh, you, you see how they work. If it's, uh, you know, some type of loop or, uh, you know, an if statement that goes. So you can see how all this stuff works. It will put, you know, your variables over here. Uh, you get to see things as they step through, uh, like I mentioned with the loop each time, you can see kind of how things are changing. Works great. So, so you can see in here, uh, right now, if we, if we think about this being the computer and how it views things, um, you can always go back and click edit this code and change things. For now, there's this option down here uh, that you would click uh, to kind of get things started. If you click last, it just runs through the whole program, uh, puts the output in the window, uh, and then you'd see the stuff here. But we're going to go step by step. So you notice over here, the next line to execute is, is the red arrow. And then the, the kind of faded out green is our, um, you know, this has already executed. That was a previous uh, statement that went, right? So I'm going to click forward. And you can see over here, uh, we already know that we have age and we have weight. But you see the question marks? There's nothing in there. So now the computer is going to go, okay, well, what do I need to put in there? So if you click forward, we're going to execute that. And uh, we know it's an integer. And now the value of 26 is stored uh, for age. All right, so if we refer to age later on, it will boom point to that. Okay, so same thing here. So now we have a double, and our double is going to store here. So 168.5. Uh, we have those two pieces in here. So now if we're ready for this little uh, output in here, uh, so step three, I hit forward. I uh, didn't use new line or inline or anything, so we're just going to keep rolling right along. Like I said, I just wanted to step through a few more times. All right, so anyway, so we have this piece here. So we have uh, forward. And we're going to go again. So and my way is. And then we have our next line again on this one. And notice it's pulling the values uh, for our variables here. So now wait. Um, this is a st our string. So our string little that we put in here. So and my weight is. We have a space there. Now we're going to go ahead and put the value. And, and then uh, we're going to end it with uh, pounds here. And it did the same thing for age where it pulled the value. So it's going to go, okay, wait. I'm going to come from here and throw it up there in the output. So our next step is that. And then that's the end of our program. So it returns zero, it's the end of our function, we're done, and it clears it out. So program terminated and we're good, but we have our output up here. So anyway, so very, very good tool. Um, this, As I mentioned, this is the best thing I've seen uh, for helping you understand uh, coding and, and how the computer is, is seeing the code. So this visualizer, Excellent, uh, excellent stuff. And you can see just, I mentioned where we are. So here we are. So someone from Iraq, someone from Mexico. So the help feature, the live help feature, pretty cool. Um, people will post questions and, and kind of help each other in there. And, and so it's kind of neat the way that, that he set that up too. So anyway, so that is a really basic overview of Python Tutor. And we will be getting into this uh, more and more. Let's say just one more thing real quick uh, before we end this program, um, or before we end this video, if you wanted to share this. Okay, so one of the things that you can do if you scroll down here we'll play with this more in the other videos but if uh, you wanted to share this we could go to generate short link and here we go with our little Google short link so you can copy and paste this little bad boy uh, anywhere you want it to go right so you have the link there uh, so we will actually for our classes we'll share this in canvas so when you go to submit assignment the link option that you have in there all you would do is dump this in there and uh, and share it uh, then I can come in and just run it through here for all this newbie stuff that we're doing. Uh, then I can go to edit. I can make comments, make changes, uh, suggestions, um, you know, say, hey, way to go. This is a great way of doing it. Whatever it might be, make little comments in here. Uh, and then actually, uh, you know, go ahead and share a link back with you if I wanted to. Or I might just make comments in the uh, comment section of the gray book in Canvas. But, uh, but anyway, so that's how you do it. So when you're done with your code, um, you've got this all in here. And come down here, generate short link, boom, there it is. So, uh, again, amazing tool. You guys will love it.